And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. After a disastrous first dinner service, the red team is in disarray. I don't like attitude in the kitchen. I didn't have a good time as soon as abrasive personalities showed themselves. There was really no need for the argument that were going on. Chef Ramsey said something to us like that we were evil and twisted. Evil and twisted. I mean, that's harsh. It's just, it's an unpleasant working environment for me. Tomorrow, dude, we just got to get in there and push that shit out. I'm not getting on that chopping block again. Almost being eliminated tells me Melissa wants you gone because you're the best. I'm not about to hear no shit from Chef Ramsay tomorrow. While the women remain divided, the men are united in their concern for Aaron. Are you all right, though? Yeah, are you sure you're all right? Don't worry about me. You've only eaten an apple all day? I'm not hungry, though. You know what you should do? Doesn't matter. I want to be light, and I, I want to be running for you guys. I don't want to be fucking fat and slow. I might be the weakest link in our team. I'm the oldest, and uh, I feel myself getting tired. I don't want to let my team down, and I, I don't want to let myself down either, so I'm going to suck it up. After an exhausting first dinner service, everyone is looking forward to a good night's sleep. But in Hell's Kitchen, you don't always get what you want. It was fantastic, really. I loved it. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Chef. Good to see you so bright and breezy. Last night was embarrassing. I've never seen so much fish in the bin, scallops in the bin, Wellington's forgot about. That was thousands of dollars of product last night. You seriously got to understand where food comes from, you know that. Right now, you're all going to catch your own fish. Follow me. Let's go, all of you. Awesome! We are going to be catching fish. I've always wanted to do that. You guys ready to catch some fish? Yes, yes chef. Yes. yes. Are we going? Catch. Let's go, Joanna. Let's go. Pass us some blood. Catch the fish. Oh, Fill up your buckets. Oh my God! Time to smell like fish. Organize yourself. Eddie, same size as you. Let's go. Good catch. It seems like in the world today that people look at little guys like they can't get stuff done. And that's partially why I'm here. You know, show them what I got. Now, take the buckets through to your respective storerooms. Let's go. Go on, Eddie. That tuna was bigger than Eddie. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Just a second, I'm cramping. Oh, Aaron is not feeling well. I'll put him on my shoulders and carry him if I had to. I'm a little guy, but, uh, you know, I'll do what I can. Now that the chefs have caught the fish, it's time to clean them. OK, this is your challenge. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I said a curse word. <laughs> okay, hey, 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 come on. No, not keep, that. It's, keep it together. Not I'm just okay. really confused right now because I'm a little busy. Do me a favor. Take time out for 10, 15 minutes, OK? OK. Off you go. Aaron's very emotional. He's cracking, and he's cracking hard. Well, at least the teams are even, aren't they? Right. This is a Dover sole, one of the most expensive fish in the sea today. Yes, beautiful. No problem. I love working with fish. We're going to prepare it very carefully. Peel the skin. Take the row out, and there we have one prepared Dover sole. The team that cleans and prepares the most Dover sole, up to my standards, will win the challenge. Are you ready? Yes! yes. 30 minutes. Let's go! Each team has 30 minutes to properly prepare as many Dover sole as they can. Let's go! The skin must be removed without damaging the fish. Come on, Eddie. 
Then they must remove the roe or fish eggs. Manipulate it. The team to prep the most fish wins. Come on, my guys, how we doing? How we doing? Working on row. Good. One down. Right. One man down. Three down. Good. And I heard the guys calling one down, two down, three down, and I knew that if we didn't have the quantity of the fish, there was no possible way that we could win. Remember, quality, not quantity. Last two minutes. Two minutes to go, yes? Two Come minutes, on. Two minutes, Chef. Guys, we can each get two more done. Check to make sure all your rows out. Roll out. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it in, put it in, put it in. Let's go. This is where it counts. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. OK. Tough challenge. Yes, Chef. Eddie. Yes, Chef. Two in half an hour. Let's hope they're perfect. What happened there? Did you pull the skin off with your teeth? We can't serve that. Beautifully skinned there. One nil. Brad. Yeah. Look at that. There's half the fish missing in there. Only two of Brad's fish were acceptable to Chef Ramsay. Now it's Vinny's turn. Skin left on the head. Come on. Don't give me shit. I didn't stick the skin on the head. Out. Zero, Vinny. Rock. Rock doesn't do much better with only one. One good one. The blue team has only managed to prepare four fish up to Chef Ramsay's standards. Now, it all comes down to Josh. Show off. Skinned perfectly. One in. In. Good. The perfect one. In. Wow. Josh, you're doing very well. Thank you, Chef. Good. Very good. Four. Eight to the guys. Josh has single-handedly doubled his team's score. Now, it's up to the women. Right, Melissa. Row out. Beautiful. In. Row out. In. His skinning is immaculate. In. This is the best skinning so far. That's my girl! With Melissa's four perfect fish, the men are starting to sweat. Now the pressure is on Julia to keep it up. But Dover Sole isn't on the menu at the Waffle House. I think that people underestimated me because I am a short order cook. I mean, I might not be fine dining, but I belong here. The row's out. Yeah. It's in. I thought that was row. It's skin. It's in. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Three more. With three women remaining, the red team only needs two more fish to tie up the score. Bonnie. Semi butchered. Out. That one is lined with row. Out. 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 Zero, Bonnie. Sorry, guys. It's OK. It's all right. It's, it's all right. It's still eight six. Men in the lead. Jen, come back to me with something, please. Half the skin left on the fish. Out. Rope everywhere. What a shame. Out, out, out. Zero, Jen. With the red team's chance for victory slipping away, Joanna is their only hope. How many have you done, Joanna? Three, Chef. Three. Holy smoke. Bring them down. I felt like I let my team down. We need all three of Joanna's fish to prevail. Eight, six. Three on the table. Beautifully skinned. In. Yeah! Row. Out. In. Yeah! Eight, eight. I cannot believe we're standing in this situation. We want fish to go. That dark line, is that row in there? In. I wanted to win this challenge more than anything because I was on the chopping block last night. Gordon told me, you got to get in there and do it. When you do well, you get a phenomenal reward. I'm going to take you out on the Pacific for a fantastic fishing excursion and lunch. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, oh my I'm pissed about losing. Guys should be out there fishing. I mean, this was set up for us to win. For the losers, as part of your punishment, you'll be prepping every Dover soul inside this restaurant. The 
next dinner service. Ladies, get dressed. The boat is waiting. Move. Is Aaron going with them? <laughs> wow, look at that guy. Just wait, look at all that. Whoa. Less than four ounces of grow in each fish. Thought I was gonna be sick. Same size as Eddie. <laughs> One, two, Eddie. Eddie! Four hours into the guy's punishment, Aaron has finally decided to join his team. I'm numb, I'm cloudy, my head's not together, um, I'm aching because of the cramps. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna call it quits. You mean quits as in tonight or quits as in? No, quits, this is it. As in for good? Yeah, I don't think I can continue. Well, you're gonna come in here and just give up because you got yelled at a bunch of times? I think that's bullshit. You, you're leaving us high and dry is what you're doing, Eric. No, not yes, no, yes you are. are. Are you leaving us high and dry? I'm not leaving you high and dry. Exactly, he's there. staying. I like that. I like no, that. You staying. No, staying. Mission number one has to be pulling together as a team. We have to support him and uh, get through next dinner service. Let's go get him, baby. Come on, baby. This, this hug is really making me uncomfortable now. Cheers. Well done. Sadly, I was the only one who caught the fish. <laughs> You're a team now. And the only way you're going to win is by that team performing. You're all capable of doing it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. We got Chef Ramsay to ourselves for a good couple of hours. That's priceless. Cheers. Thank you. After a long day on the boat, the women slip into something a little more comfortable. Ooh, I've never seen this. What's up, booty shorts? Out comes Little Miss Bonnie, wearing Little Miss Nothing. I'm like, what? Uh? Interesting. Bonnie, you see, you see potatoes anywhere? She goes, oh yeah, you know, I saw them somewhere. Did someone like put it under one of these guys? What? Are you hungry? <laughs> Bonnie, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you reach those scoopers on the top? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kind of intimidated by all the young guys, just that they know everything. You know what, Aaron? I wouldn't think that because a lot of people just act like they know everything. They're smarter than me. They know all of French terminology, and uh, I know how to cook, you know, Chinese food. So it's not easy to find rest up there because that's so intense. It is. I know Aaron wasn't feeling well, but there is no time to feel sorry for yourself in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and tonight's dinner service will bring one person a step closer to the ultimate prize, head chef at the Green Valley Ranch Resort. Blue team, please, let's go. Ladies, let's go. Blue team, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. OK. We're going to do a special tonight. We're going to do the most amazing pan-fried Dover salt. Blue team. The yes, chef. That's the second part of your punishment for losing the challenge I need one of you to serve table side those Dover souls. Aaron. Yes, sir. Your table side. Don't look so unhappy about it. I'm not unhappy, sir. Dizzy? No, sir. Would you like a tissue? No, sir. Right. Are we ready? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you. Let's go. Go, boys. Make sure they're really tight. Do you understand what I'm saying? No matter who I work with, I'm always without good quality. If Melissa wants to be in control, 
then that's fine. I'll let her do that. Chef Ramsay already told us, no more hell's bitches. Teamwork, girls. Rock, what you want next, buddy? A lot. Josh is trying to be so much more than he really is, as opposed to leading by example. He leads by, you know, this. Come on, guys. We got to get this going. This is an easy job for you tonight, OK? I want to get you out of the heat and raise your confidence. You will not be disappointed in me. You'll be fine, yeah? Good man. Hey, let's get big boy. Hey, he's, he's next. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you nice? Yeah, I've just passed out for a while. Sorry. You're not play acting with me, are you? No, chef. No, because I see a man in there that's willing to do well. Yes, chef. But you're scared of showing it. So come out yourself. I'm still kind of cloudy, and uh, I don't want to let my team down. I'm extremely nervous tonight. Thank yes. you, chef. Good yes, man. chef. Good man. Thank you. Good man. Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is open for the second time, and the red team is looking for their first dinner service victory. Love you. Love you. We are going to take the boys to school. Pleasure. Right, line up, concentrate. On order, four covers, table 11. One Caesar salad, one scallop, two spaghetti. Entree, one sole, two chicken, one wellington. Yes, chef! Yes, Thank yes, you. Yes. Now we're standing like Let's a brigade. Go, My name's Aaron, and I'm a chef. I'm one of your chefs tonight. And welcome to Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. What in the fuck is Aaron doing in the dining room? My name's Aaron, and I'm a chef in Hell's Kitchen. And welcome to Hell's Kitchen. He's talking to customers. He's talking to customers. My name's Aaron. Oh, you already know my name because it's on my shirt. Get that fucking donkey out of there. While Aaron learns his place, Eddie tries to get the blue kitchen off to a good start. I need two spaghetti urgently, OK? Wait, 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 wait. I got you. Wait, 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 wait. I got to put it in. Y'all, get out of my way. I Keep just it off the heat. You're going to burn before you get all your stuff in the pan. Coming in. Coming Y'all, back off, please. please. What is going on with the spaghetti? What's all that ramped in there? Pass me that over there. Pass it over there. Pass me over. Pass it over. Hello. What, what is all this in here? I wasn't going to give what it to you, Chef. What the fuck is going on here? Sorry, Chef. How much fucking spaghetti is in there? Sorry, Chef. What happened? Too many people came around again, and there is more confusion, Chef. You two, behind, can you leave him? Yes, Chef. Huh? He's getting confused. This guy can't cook two fucking spaghetti. He shouldn't be in here. I'm actually ashamed of myself because when I told him to back off, but I didn't put no, like, mm for my voice, I really need to step up my game. You control your section. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and Eddie's spaghetti has brought the blue kitchen to a standstill. So Chef Ramsay turns to the women for a little hope. Spaghetti scallops, how long? Three minutes, chef. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing three scallops, Chef. See? I've called one spaghetti, one scallops, and she's doing three scallops. I thought I heard... I'm sorry. OK, one scallop. Are you a dumb blonde? I feel like I'm the one that everyone sees as the idiot in the group, so I'm always trying to prove everybody wrong. Fucking Barbie. All no, right, it's OK. It's OK. I'm OK. I'm OK. I am OK. I'm OK. I'm OK. While Bonnie convinces herself that she's OK, Vinny is attempting to prepare the Dover Sole Special. Is that burnt, Vinny? I can see it from here. It looks fucking dark. Is that burnt, yes or no? No, chef. It's got a rubber dome brown on it. Get it on the hot plate. Vinny! Yes, chef. I thought by this stage you'd tell me the truth. I'm telling you, one nicely cooked there, yeah, and one that is cooked to fuck. Yes, Chef. I am in Chef Ramsay's crosshairs. If the blue team loses tonight, I definitely think Ramsay wants to uh, send me back to New Jersey. I've never seen such illiterate fucking cooking in all my life. 
While Vinny's burnt fish is holding up the men, the Red Kitchen is pushing out appetizers, thanks to Jen's leadership. Come on, guys, come on! Jen! Yes, Chef! Very nice, that spaghetti. Thank you, Chef. Here we go, let's go. I can't believe we're on our third table appetizers. Let's go. Yes, Chef! Seven minutes to the window, yes? Yes, yes Chef! Yes. Good job, girls, good job. Good job. Welcome. Despite Vinny's trouble on the fish station, Dover Soul is finally leaving the Blue Kitchen, and it's up to Aaron to serve at tableside. Good evening. How are you tonight? My name's Aaron. I have the honor of deboning your fish for you tonight. <laughs> Better you than me. Very good. Quick, 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 quick. quick. This is a bony fish. <laughs> it's very flaky, very delicate, per cooked to perfection for you. <laughs> Almost ready. <laughs> Aaron finally got the Dover filleted. You're Dover soul now. Thank you. Enjoy. Unfortunately, it took 15 minutes, and the fish. Could be a little hotter. Yeah. Be a lot hotter. Eddie. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. All of you. Taste it! It's way too peppery and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! Get off the section. Yes, chef. Get off! Yes, chef. It's embarrassing. I'm actually ashamed of myself. I just had a shitty day. I can't believe it. On there, to risotto. Back to your station. Yes, chef. While Brad tries to take control of the appetizers in the blue kitchen, Joanna realizes she's forgotten to cook the lettuce for the next order. He's gonna fucking kill me, dude. I forgot to put the fucking lettuce on. Lettuce, please. Come on, guys. Oh, no, look, she's not even talking to me now. You're not even... Yes, chef. Hey, what are you doing with that? Have you forgotten the lettuce? Yes, chef. Joanna, why can't I be told that someone's fucking forgot the lettuce? What have you been doing for the last hour? Chef. I got to get control of my shit, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to go back to the room. You know, even if I do break down or anything, I'm still going to keep going. You OK? Girl, I got to get my shit together. I cannot be out here like this You're tomorrow. Okay. You're OK. Despite Joanna's problems on the garnish station, the Red Kitchen has managed to serve entrees to 23 of their 50 patrons. It's really good while the blue team has only served nine patrons. Well, we're just waiting for our um, Wellington. Yeah. How long for the Wellington? Look out, look out, coming in. It's overcooked, come here you. Oh no. Look, just touch it then. Oh, come on, Josh. Have you got another one there? Yes, Chef. Waiting on you. Waiting on me? Give me a count, give me, no give me, give me a count. Give me count. Three minutes, three minutes, yes, Chef. It was an atomic bomb, and it was my fault because I was in charge of meat. Kind of hurts. Coming right now, chef. Is it cooked? Yes, chef. I hope there's not raw pastry underneath there. You know that. Is it raw? Yes, chef. Oh, hey, hello. I can see it from here. We're sinking like a Titanic. Right now, nothing is happening. While Josh tries again to get Wellingtons out to the diners, Aaron has left his customers with a little something to remember him by. You're a fresh Dover soul. Thank you. Enjoy your dinner tonight, folks. Thanks. They're all complaining about the bones and the soul. They're complaining about the bones? Oh, come on. How many complaints have you had? All the things. Get him over here. Chef wants to see. Chef, chef, chef wants to see. Chef, you wanted to see me? Yeah. Customers are complaining about bones in the soul. What's going on, Aaron? It's dark out there, and I'm trying to rush myself, I guess. It's dark? The fucking bone's intact. You separate the fillets and you pick up the whole bone. Yes, Concentrate. Chef. Yes, Chef, I apologize. I think I made some critical mistakes. This is a top class place, and maybe I'm not top class. Stand by, two soul are coming. Hello, hey, big boy. Hello, no fucking bones. No bones, Chef. With the blue team in trouble, Chef Ramsay turns to the red team for a little hope. Who's doing the pasta? I am, 
chef. Why are you doing the garnish? I thought I would make it a little bit easier for Joanna because I didn't have a problem doing it. When somebody needs help, I will carry them. So I figured Joanna looked like she was in the weeds, so why not? That's how I work. And Melissa? Yes, Chef. Will you let her do the garnish? Yes, Chef. Melissa was trying to show that she could do everything. I can make the garnishes, I can make the fish, I'm this, I'm that. She tried to take it on by herself. You've got three tables left. And the atmosphere in this kitchen stinks. Can we just stick together for these next three tables to get these fucking main courses out? Yes, yes Chef. Yes, Come on, guys. We can do this. Beautiful. Feeling good? Feeling good. Feeling good. Good. Now we're sounding like a team. Three hours into dinner service, the women have rallied and served nearly all of their entrees. Meanwhile, the men are still struggling. Taste that. It's overcooked and peppery, Brad. Fucking wake up, will you please, yes? That's the second one by two different cooks. One fucking risotto. As quick as possible, please. Chef. Josh, what are you doing there? What are you doing there with that chicken there? Is that dry? No, Chef. It looks dry from here. Just touch that. That's the skin, my man. Yeah, look, yes, Chef. Look, look. Yes, Chef. Did that honestly just happen? What just happened? That's it. OK. That's dry. Yes, Chef. You, 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 you. Hey, you, you, come here. You, come here. Hey, you, fucking come here, you. Where's that fucking cowboy? Aaron! Now you've got dry chicken. You fucking donkey. You can't even do a fucking risotto. You know that. You can't even fill it a fucking fish. You, 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 you. Fuck off out of there. Get out. Get out! The fucking girls will finish the meal service. Get out! The girls took over dinner service. I mean, it's embarrassing. You know, how do they beat us? And it, and it happened. And it, and it sucks. You guys, you know what? We're all chefs. They're not even cooks. <laughs> That was your last main course. Right now, we're serving the blue. They've gone. Yes, Chef. Wakey, wakey. Oh, Lord Jesus. Three brulee, one brownie. OK, I'm going to start doing the ice cream. Is that cool? We had to pick up what the boys left off, and it got us back together as a team. We kicked ass. One scallop, one risotto. Melissa. Yes, Chef. That's beautifully cooked, that monkfish. Thank you, Chef. Last order. Yes, Chef. Well done for getting the guys' main courses out there. It's been a good night. I didn't go in there with one doubt in my mind that we weren't going to complete the dinner service. Let's cut the bullshit, shall we? It's pretty obvious who was the worst team this evening. Gentlemen, Aaron, you're in the dining room like the president of the United States of America, shaking hands with people. My name's Aaron. Oh, you already know my name because it's on my shirt. What the fuck was all that about? I apologize, Chef. Obviously, I didn't do that great of a job. Vinny. Yes, Chef. From a chef's point of view, I feel unsafe with you behind me because when we are making mistakes, you cover it up. Eddie. Yes, Chef. You were terrible. Chef, I got confused when my team came around. That's what hurt me. Two spaghetti's right here. That's one spaghetti to follow. It's three all day. Y'all, get out of my way. Gentlemen, the least bad of the bunch. Rock. Yes, Chef. Yeah. Go back to the dorm and think of two of your team for elimination. Yes, sir. And fuck off, will you? Things are getting really hot here in Hell's Kitchen. Definitely want to make a smart decision, an objective decision. All right, I want to say two things. Please. First of all, myself, Aaron, and Vinny, I think the only choice is tonight to go up there. Now, on the second part, I'm a strong prep person. I could get a lot of prep done, and I could get it done fast. I feel you on, on, on everything you're saying. I want to fight tooth and nail, because I want to be here. I actually think Aaron should go, because I don't think this is good for his health. It's been a pleasure working with you, and you're a great guy. That's all I can say. Thank you. If I could stay here longer, I'd like to. 
but I understand too. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, bro. I honestly think that it should be me and um, probably me. Um, I'm just talking to everybody. Straight up. I don't wanna fucking go home. I know you don't wanna go home. I don't think I deserve to go home. And like I said before, I mean, I don't wanna go home. Appreciate it, Josh. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. After a very difficult evening, the women have secured their first dinner service victory. For the men, it's time to deal with their defeat. Gentlemen, every one of you deserve to be up here, you know that. Rock. Yes, sir. Have you made your decision? Yes, sir, I have. First nominee and why? My first nominee is... Eddie. Why have you nominated Eddie? I feel that Eddie is a small guy, and I'm not sure when he can come out of that shell and be an asset to our team. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee is Josh. Josh? To me, Josh is all over the place. Eddie and Josh, step forward, please. Eddie. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay? Well, Chef, I learned a very important lesson today. And what was that? That I really need to speak up and stand up for myself. I have a lot of passion. I have a lot of creativity. I could go very far in this, and I hope I get the chance to show you. Josh. Yes, Chef. I think you're one big fake full of piss and wind. No, Chef, I'm not a fake at all. Not one of your main courses went out. Why should you stay here? Tonight was the most embarrassing moment in my professional life. I have never been thrown out of the kitchen before. I feel horrible and embarrassed, and I can't wait to come back and rally, and I hope I'm given the opportunity to come back. This is not an easy decision. Just touch that. Huh? No, yes, Chef. No, no. Yes, Chef. It's inedible! You wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! My decision is... Josh. I'm giving you another chance. Eddie, take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Now fuck off. Yes, sir. My biggest regret in Hell's Kitchen is just not being loud. I should have just went in full blast and just tore the place apart. Getting kicked off sucks, you know? But, you know, I did it to myself. Get out of it. I was incredibly surprised that I wasn't nominated. I was kind of in shock. Good night. Good night, Chef. Good night, Chef. Good night. Good night, ladies. I think we have the boys in a good position right now because they screwed up tonight and they looked like idiots. We proved to them tonight that we're a force to be reckoned with. Right now, I've got to be like constantly looking behind me and over my shoulder because obviously there's some people out to get me. Eddie's got a big heart. Sadly, he couldn't even hold his own section. He made far too many simple mistakes and he didn't merit running his own restaurant.